Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel. Super happy to see everyone here. So for today's episode, I'm going to do a very in-depth review of my vintage Chanel envelope flap bag. So I would be sharing to you guys the specification, dimension or measurement, what fits inside, mod shots, and of course my final recommendation. So if you want to know everything all about the good stuff about the vintage Chanel envelope flap bag, please stay tuned. Hi guys, Ron here, Soaking Budgetarian Fashionist. I publish vlog every Wednesday and Saturdays about latest news about fashion. I do luxury shopping vlogs, also in unboxings. I also do bad reviews and provide styling tips. I'm inviting you to please join our ever-growing fam by clicking this cute little icon here so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our luxury addicted family. Also, please do follow me on Instagram.com forward slash Ramirify so you can get daily updates and styling tips coming from me. Hi guys, so let us start the more in-depth review of this beautiful vintage Chanel flat bag. So again guys, I have done the unboxing review of this one. It's a true unboxing. If you haven't seen that, I'm going to link it up here and put it on the description box. So I purchased this one directly from the consignment store. So just to give you a few more details of this beautiful vintage flat bag, I had her authenticated via Zico. So again guys, I would highly recommend that if you have a Chanel bag that you purchased pre-loved and you would like to have them authenticated, just use Zico. So I'm going to link her website. So I believe it's zicoauthenticate.com. So here is the certificate that it comes with. So he is going to email you the soft copy after she has requested um, millions of photos of your um, Chanel bag and she's going to review those photos and once she has deemed that the bag is authentic she's going to email you the PDF copy so it has the QR code over here and what's good about this one compared to the Enshopee because she was able to identify so it's a, if you could see here she identified that this vintage flap bag is a 1986 Chanel vintage Envelope classic quilted single flap and the material is black lambskin with 24k gold hardware So I was totally impressed with Zico when she was able to identify The year that this was manufactured from because when I purchased this one I was aware that this would not come with the hologram sticker That's normally on this part on the inside and it didn't come with the authenticity card as well but I'm just so happy that after all the drama with the entropy saying that this is you know they're not able to identify this but I was doubting the results again there was a, a vlog that I published with the drama so I'm going to link it somewhere over here and then I got a second opinion which is via entropy oh sorry which is via Zico in with her expertise with everything Chanel she even mentioned on her email I'm going to put her email here that the first time that she saw the photos on email she immediately knew that this is a authentic or original Chanel bag so anyways going back to the bag itself so as per Zico, so this is made or manufactured from the year 1986. So it is an envelope style flap bag as you are going to see here. The flaps uh, opening is like an envelope flap bag. And the material of this one is all lambskin leather. What I super love with vintage lambskin leather, I feel that they are more hard wearing compared to the newer lambskin. I don't have any issues with the neural skin, but definitely for me, I would want something hard wearing. So I would recommend, you know, the vintage lambskin and of course the caviar leather. So this one, as you are going to see, it comes with the 24K gold hardware. So let me just focus it for you one moment, guys. There, so as you are going to see, and then it has a marking over here. So the marking, guys, I just learned from Zico that she can identify the year of manufacture date from this marking. And for us normal people, the way I understand this marking is if it has marking, then you would know that your bag should be made in France. So later, we are going to take a look. So here is the side, guys. So the this is the front part. So the front part is quite structured. The back part is structured. 
the bottom part is structured as well but for the side as you are going to notice it is a little bit softer because I think the construction the way that um, Chanel constructed this bag is they want this to be able to make adjustment when you do the opening like this that's why this part here the two sides are softer compared to the front back and the under need of the flap of the bag so anyway so since oh, okay though before we check the openings so as you are going to see here guys that it comes only with two grommets so it means that you can only wear this one actually there are multiple ways for you to be able to wear this one so number one you could wear this one as a shoulder bag and then just like you know the uh, wallet on chain all you can all you need to do is just double wrap the one moment guys so I'm just removing the back uh, bag puff I made this one for the bag so there so all you need to do is wrap it here there so just like the wallet on chain you could double up the way you're going to do it so you could wear it you know as a shoulder um, a shorter sh uh, shoulder bag I'm sorry guys so anyways that is um the feature of the bag so let us discuss more of the dimension all right so for the dimension of the bag so for the length of the bag she measures from here to here that is 23 centimeters and then the height of the bag from here going up here so that would be 18 centimeters and then the depth of the bag here to here that would be five centimeters then of course if you are going to lay the bag and you would like to ask for the strap drop so from here go all the way here that would be 18 inches and then of course if you are going to double up then that would be a little bit shorter so now let's move on to the inside part of the bag so let me just open so again guys i love the closure of this one i'm so obsessed with chanel cc turn lock closure then of course the bag puff as you are going to see she has a very beautiful burgundy interior and guys omg it is very smooth and i feel this is the most or the more delicate lambskin part of the bag so as you are going to see here so the zipper it has to be very it has actually a substantial weight so let me just focus it for you is it showing so there so that is the cc there's a CC logo and then if we are going to pull this up a little bit so it comes with the Chanel tree um marking or logo over there and then it shows here can you see guys there made in France so that just you know shows that the marking here is right so there's a marking here and then it shows that it's made in France and then if we are going to focus here you are going to see the very beautiful Chanel 24k hardware and then of course the stitching over here all right so let's do what fits inside this very beautiful Chanel bag so firstly guys of course um, the things that I would be carrying with me would be my Chanel pouch here so my Chanel pouch this would carry everything so my lip gloss cream all that good stuff so let's put her in so as you are going to see so like what I mentioned this is 23 centimeters so there is a lot of space so putting it there so as you can see there are more space and then of course I would definitely need my hard case so this is my very trusty YSL card holder so again with my YSL card holder I could put in bills and a lot of my cards so this is what I normally bring whenever I will be going out so we could put her on top like this then of course my phone definitely need this one if whenever I will be going out so as you are going to see guys there are a lot more space then um, it's charging my power bank but let's assume my smaller phone is a power bank so I could still put it here there so as you are going to see guys there are a couple of more spaces 
So you could add in so you could add in your sunglasses or if you have the Louis Vuitton um, mini pochette so you could also I believe put it inside. So I love this one. It's very spacious. It's very chic, very classic as well. But at the same time, it could you know carry all the essentials that I would need. Yay! OMG, she's so beautiful. What do you think, guys? All right. So I'm just so happy that I'm able to share a little bit review of this very beautiful 1986 vintage envelope flap bag. I feel that there are you know little reviews with vintage Chanel bags and I'm just happy to share this to our fam here and to everyone else. So hopefully guys, this is very informative and if you want this one, definitely I'll try to check if you could find one at Fashion File or any other um, consignment stores and I'll try to link everything on the description box below but definitely guys this beautiful vintage envelope flap bag so again she is 1986 but as you can see the condition is still pretty good she aged really really gracefully and definitely guys with her size with her classic Chanel look I am highly recommending to, for you guys to check this one out and maybe add to your collection as well so what do you guys think of my vintage Chanel flap bag? I would love to hear from you guys. Please do comment down below. There, how did you enjoy our episode for today? So hopefully you enjoyed this one and found this very, very informative. So just in case you were able to find, you know, a very similar envelope flap bag just like this, at least you would know what you would expect. If I would be able to find links, guys, of um, any available Chanel vintage flap bag just like this one, I'm going to link it down below on the description box. But anyways, I would love to hear your comments and thoughts about the bag as well. Please join the conversation and comment down below. Alright guys, I'm inviting you to please join our ever-growing fam. There's a cute little icon here so you could easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family. Again, please do follow me on instagram.com forward slash Amirify so you could get daily updates and psychic tips coming from me. A million thank yous for staying with me in this episode. I'm going to leave a couple of videos here for you to check out. Please stay safe. I will see everyone soon. Bye!